あけましておめでとうございます And that means Happy New Year to all of you guys on YouTube and welcome back to William in Japan it is 2022 since we are still in the pandemic I would like to wish all of you and your family a happy healthy and safe 2022 from now on And you join me on my first ride of the year on my trusty CB250R. We are at Kawasaki City in Kanagawa Prefecture, just south of Tokyo, which is an industrial district. As you have may notice, there are tons of trucks, storage facilities, and factories around us right now. And today, we are on our CB250R in its scrambler form. In 600 meters, take the interchange on the left. Thank you, Miss Google. And we will be going out to scramble a little bit. Since it is still pretty crispy, a bit chilly, we will take it nice and slow and out of the mountain passes so we can be a bit more safer. Take the interchange on the left. Got it. Thank you, Miss Google. Sorry for the interruption. Anyways, it will be a pretty flat,、uh, flat track, not much of climbing. And not a lot of twisties, too. But since I put these Pirelli Scorpion Rally STR tires on this bike already, I like to go a bit more a bit more off road when I ride on this bike. So stay tuned. I'll see you in a bit. And welcome back, guys, as we reach the entrance of the Togawa Forest Road. This is a park that's called Togawa at Hadano City. And heading down that way actually brings us to a river and heading upstream into a hiking pass towards Mount Hadano itself. However, motorcycles can only reach midway. Right at the entrance of the hiking pass, so we will be heading there today and trying out the spring I have just mentioned a bit earlier. All right, let this car pass in us first. Oh, he's going there through. Nice guy of him. Okay, and here we go, guys. Up into Tokawa Forest Road. So, right now, of course, we are still on pavement. But just in a bit, it'll turn into a nice flat dirt slash gravel road, which, in my opinion, is perfect for riding in this time of year. So, we don't have a lot of snow in Japan, but Sense of the cool. Here we go. Here we head into the gravel. Due to the cold temperature, of course, there will be ice on the road, especially on the mountain pass where we usually ride for some twisties. That's why a slow going, nice and easy dirt road right like this is perfect for riding right now. Since we can. Enjoy riding without the risk of sliding off the road because off road consists of sliding at, at always, right, guys?、Okay. And the Tokawa Forest Road is famous for novices again, since again,、uh, English, <laughs> sorry, just saying that much times of again is in one sentence, but. I am not a professional rider, of course, nor am I an ex experienced off road rider. So, I will pick these easier roads for us to enjoy. And maybe we can tackle some harder roads in the future, too. So, down on our left is the river I mentioned, and I believe in a bit. We will head up to 
the spring water area where actually a lot of riders bring bottles to catch that spring water and to make coffee when they reach their camping site. Ooh, this is a bit wet. Okay. Ooh. Not sure how many of you guys are actually going off-road, but definitely I find off-road riding way more fun sometimes. They're getting stuck in traffic, just trying to get to the twisties in the mountains. One moment. Ah, I think I should take my cell phone off. Although, my camera is already broken. I don't want to break even it even more. Put this in. Okay, it works good. Turn off the engine. Stick my phone into my pocket. Oh, God. Come on. This is awkward. In you go. I'll take my gloves off then. Ah, shit. Sorry for swearing. My bad. Why is it so hard to get into a pocket? Uh, okay, there we go. And get my gloves. And we should be on our way. Oop. So that's the merit of having such a light bike since you can hold it up with your legs easily without worrying it tipping over. So there are some leftover pavement, like here, definitely don't want to be down there. Tanzawa Oyama National Park. Ah, so we're in the national park already. It's nice we don't need to pay any fees to enter in Japan. All national parks, as far as I know, are free. Oop, oop, nice and slow. Oop, derp, okay. And here we are at the spring that I just mentioned. Let's park our bike here. Have a quick sip of the best spring waters in Japan, top 100, and see how good it really is. Okay. Got it. Whew. It's sure chilly here today. Nice and crisp in the air. Get my water bottle. Just sip one cap, and that should do. Hadana Mesui Ryujin no Send. So that means uh, Tadano is the name of this city. Mesui, a famous water, famous spring. Ryujin is actually Dragon God, cool name, and the fountain of the Dragon God. Oh, damn it. They say if you want to drink this, you have to boil it. Oh, well. Then... No drinking today, I guess. But at least I can touch it. Oh!
Oh god, that is cold. Whew. Anyways, unlucky we can't try it out today, but maybe next time. Whew, that is some cold water, guys. Okay. Plug back in my camera. And off we go. Heated grips. Okay. Continue our trip up the mountain. Make sure there's no ice on the road. Oh, that's definitely ice. Gotta watch out a bit now. Clutchless shifts definitely, definitely helps here. If you have been practicing, usually when you're riding, it definitely helps you when you don't have the time to hold in your clutch and you need to make shifts. Okay. What does this sign say? Oh, private land. Okay, so we won't be turning right. Here we go uphill. Watch out for rock falls, okay. As expected, since we are heading into the mountains, and these are. Ah, fellow rider. And these are roads that aren't be properly looked after. Ah, another fellow rider. That's nice. Lots of riders today. And having a thumper, a single cylinder engine on these rolls actually really help. Especially, oh, you have a Jeep. Careful. Because this engine on the CB250R is actually a high revving single cylinder. It revs to 10,500 RPM. And thanks to that, it does not have a lot of power, but it surely has the torque to take care of these low speed areas. And if we need to go on highways, which I just did, we can definitely take care of that too. So the versatility of this engine, in my opinion at least, in the 250cc class, is one of the top tier ones. You don't need to rev a lot, to have tons of power since it has some torque of course very little compared to big cc bikes but for speeds like this no problem at all and as i had mentioned last time when we were at the which forest road was it my apologies kanai i think i think the kanai forest road the downside of this bike it's definitely in the suspension. It just doesn't support this bike well. Yes, I'm a bit heavier than what they expected, I guess. 
I am close to 80, kilometer, uh, 80 kilograms in weight, but even stiffening out the preload of the shock, uh, it does help on the back side, but the front forks are just so soft. They are so much to dive when you brake hard. Yeah. Okay. Nope. Some force work. Oh, ice, ice. Watch out, watch out. That is ice. And this is really wet. Let's go nice and slow here. Let the single cylinder pull us through. And we are good. Oh, on our right is... Ah! The other forest road. Yes, yes. Omote Tanzawa Sen. Yes, it was closed from December 4th or 5th for the winter seasons. So you are not allowed to go even higher up the mountain. But that's okay. That is not our destination this time. We are heading up Harano Mountain today. Hell yeah. Be careful not to slip off the side. There are no guardrails there. The rear brake is groaning a bit. Not sure if there are some debris or sand rock stuck inside, but every time I step on the back brake, there is somewhat some weird sound coming out of it. And that's a abandoned cottage. Ugh. And where are we now? Okay, so that's up another mountain, and we will continue heading down this way. Ah, this is a shop? Wow, there's a shop here. Wow, cool. So there must be a lot of hikers. So in order to have a little restaurant and cottage like that to survive around here, I bet when it warms up a bit more, Way more tourists will be around this area. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a bit deeper. Ah, it's okay. Nothing the CB can't handle. Flat dirt tracks, gravel tracks like this, no big deal. It's only scrambling, it's not proper off-road. Wow, we're pretty up, up the canyon right now, wow. These pavement are surely in a bad shape. Come on. One gear down. Ah, yeah, there we go.
If we're lucky, we might bump into some little animals. Maybe some monkeys. Or even deer. Stall the bike, my bad. Ah, that was bad. Should have gave it more gas. Ah, yeah. Ooh. Now this is some proper gnarly stuff. Ah. Ooh. Parking area? Ah, okay. So this is a rest house. Oh, yes, and we are at our destination, guys. Unfortunately, since it is winter, there isn't a lot of water at this part of the river. How unfortunate. So let's see. It should be down this way, right? Yep, here we are at our destination for today, guys. This is the end of the Togawa Lindo, the Togawa Forest Road. And up there is the Hound Ma Oh, that was scary. Ah, okay. There we go. Whew. And up to our left, the road heading up, is the road to actually climb Mount Hadano, which is definitely not on our schedule today. So guys, thank you for joining me for my first ride of the year of 2022. And again, wish you guys all safe to be safe healthy for the rest of the year see you next time bye bye